Hello artists. Um, this is part two of our watercolor practice. Um, our little exercise and this time we're going to talk about tints. And tints are light shades of color. I'm gonna put, put one over here. We're going to do four. Okay, um, I kept um, my red and my green so I could show you. You want to start with a strong color, you know, with a solid color, and we'll use the red first. And I'm going to paint my first box. with my nice, strong, solid color. I'm going to add some more. Okay, so now I'm going to take, to make a tint of that color, I am going to um, put two drops of water in my first container. And I'm going to take a brush full of paint and add it to that container, just one brushful. And then I'm going to paint this box. See how much lighter that is? Okay. Then for my second tint, I'm going to put four drops of water, three, four, and I'm going to get one brush full of paint. So it's about the same amount of paint that I had in that one, but I have more water, so it should be lighter. Okay, so now I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get one brush full of paint and add it to my eight drops of water. So for lighter, maybe that was the problem. I didn't touch off my excess. Um, We'll go back and test that. Um, so for lighter colors, or for light, yeah, you know, for tints, I'm gonna take my the color that I'm using. You're gonna make make a wash in a cup in one of the little holes, dips in the in the little tray, the more water you add, the more, the lighter your tint is going to be. So I'm going to, let's try this one again. So I'm going to touch off my excess and see if that, yeah, that's better. So I just, I forgot to touch off my excess, so this turned out about the same as that. So always, 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 when you get color, touch off your excess, and then when you paint with it, um, you'll get the right color. Um, or maybe I just didn't rinse my, I didn't get all of the paint from here off of my brush. Could be a lot of different things, but, um, so if you are careful when you make tints, you're going to get lighter and lighter the more water is added. Okay, so let's try this again, and we're going to do it with green, since I have a puddle of green, but I need to get rid of some of my, I need to get a new little tray. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's go through that again to review. And so I'm going to draw my four boxes. These don't need to be very big, but 
make them bigger than your thumbnail. I have students that really make teeny tiny little things and it's not going to turn out right if you have teeny tiny little things, amounts. So my first one, I'm going to do two drops of water. And I'm going to stir up my green, touch off my excess, and put my green in the puddle, in my drops. Oops, we forgot to paint my original one, so we'll go back and do that in a minute. So I, and my green was pretty light. Okay. So I'm gonna paint my first green box. Getting rid of my excess water, then this one was two drops, I'm going to do four drops. One, two, three, four. Get rid of my excess water, my paint, touch off the excess, and mix it in. Touch off my excess, and we can see that my green is working out better. I clearly have a paler color than there. Okay. This time, eight drops of water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get rid of my excess water. Get my paint, touch off my excess. and paint my box. It, that is so pale that it almost doesn't look like there's anything there, but there is. As it dries, it'll become a little bit clearer. So, but that's how your tint should be. Each one should be noticeably lighter than the last one. Okay, all right. Um, okay, so, um, practice your tints four times with four different colors, and these are tints, okay, one with two drops of water, one with four drops of water, and one with eight drops of water. Okay, all right. And we can see the color showing up more as they dry out, which is what should happen. All right, um, when you finish that, then you're ready for the next part. See you soon.